Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Here's our tropical system moving out of Florida, now into the southern portion of Georgia here this evening. This is Elsa. It is now a tropical storm. The winds have come down a little bit. Now that it's over land, but still has 45 mile per hour winds gusting to 60. It is moving fairly quickly. That's good news at 14 miles per hour. It's basically going to make its way up across South Carolina and North Carolina as we head through the next 24 hours or so, then kind of exit the eastern seaboard somewhere around maybe the D.C. area and then just kind of hug the northeast, including impacting New York City, most likely as a low-end tropical storm, believe it or not. You can still see some winds around 40 miles per hour as we head into later this week, and then eventually exiting, but it's going to basically plague the entire eastern seaboard between now and the next two or three days. Good news, no direct impact on us, keeping most of its moisture to the southeast of this area. We hit 89 for the high here today. 71 has been our low, 107. That's the record high on this day, set back in 1936. No rain at the TV station. Some of you picked up some rain overnight. We didn't get anything here, but we do have showers and storms starting to pop up out there. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow. There's our daylight and the river station, Terre Haute, nine and a half feet, and it's on the way down. At the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 89 degrees right now with the relative humidity high, 46%. So there is a heat index, feels like 91. Pressure dropping now at 29.86. Temperatures are in the 80s to near 90. The exception, look down here at Washington, 76. We'll show you why in a second, but everybody else pretty much in the mid to upper 80s. The dew points are in the 60s to near 70. So a lot of moisture in the air, so the heat index value is up some 94 down here in the Vincennes area, 92 over in Paris, 94 down there in Flora, Illinois. So the heat is on once again today. On the water vapor satellite, there's the tropical moisture there, but what we're watching is a front to the northwest. Now behind that front, there's some drier air right here. We're going to get in on that tomorrow night and Friday. I really think tomorrow night and Friday are going to be pretty nice here in the area, but as the front squeezes in and we get some heating in the afternoon, we're generating some of these showers and storms. You can see the Elsa moisture, though, is stay, uh, staying way to the southeast of this area. So here at home, not a lot, but there's a little bit starting to pop up here and there. On the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar, pretty much nothing north of I-70. We have a few areas down to the south of I-70, though. This is not far from Linton. A little shower, a little heavier rain there. Also extending up here across the southern portion of Clay County, which, by the way, the Clay City Fair, the parade going on at 6.30 here in just a little bit, kicking off the fair over there in Clay City. Looks like a little shower, not too far from Clay City. A few showers back off to the southwest of there, and then I talked about the cooler weather in Washington. It's because they have some rain, some pretty heavy rain down just uh, near Washington. Right now. So we expect some scattered showers and storms tonight into the day tomorrow. By tomorrow evening, this will all be ending with the front moving through. So by the time we hit tomorrow night early, we'll stop the clock before we say at 8 o'clock, pretty much done. So tomorrow night looks good, and Friday looks good during the day. Now, as we get into Friday evening, Friday night, we'll start to see more rain developing west. If you're notice off to the west of this area by Friday evening, we see some showers and storms developing. Those look to then move back in here Friday night into the day on Saturday and Sunday, giving us off and on rain chances really right into the first part of next week. So we get a break Friday. Then things get active again, and it looks like it's going to stay that way. This is long term now. This is July 15 to 21. Temperatures near normal, but look at this. Highest probability of above normal precip in the entire country right over us as we head for July 15 to 21. Tonight, scattered showers and storms, 71 the low. The same thing again tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms, a high of 83. I think we'll catch a break during the day Friday. However, by Friday evening, Friday night, more showers and storms will be moving in. Scattered in nature for the weekend. Temperatures a little cooler, highs around 80. Then we see a few more showers and storms later next week and heating back up. Temperatures back in the mid-80s by Next Tuesday and Wednesday. So often on, not a washout, but often on showers and storms, really almost every day coming yeah. out. Yeah, typical, mm -hmm. right? Typical summer yeah. pattern, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're also approaching, fast approaching, Colts training camp. Hard to believe just a couple of weeks from today, yeah. next in sports, we're talking Colts. They're getting ready for a big training camp. It's going to be back to normal.